previously on Seizure Art. Be like, famous last video before before I accidentally slice myself. And the epic story continues. This is so exciting. I love this. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? Oh my goodness. What is this? Wait, what? Twist for erase. This is so cool. So this must be a 0.9. My goodness. Beautiful. It's got a like a rubber grip. I've seen people tape like a, a, gr a massive grip on the pencil. I might try that one time. I don't know what it specifically does. And on our next one. Oh my god. Oh my god. How many have they given me? Oh, it's just a different size. <gasps> okay, so this must be a... So this is a tw oh, twist erase pencil, automatic pencil. So it's 0.7. So they're just giving me different sizes. This pencil, this is too much. Ah, there's another one. <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> This is like the professional metal ones. Oh my god. Oh wow. Is this any way interesting? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I'm showing you a bunch of pens. I feel like I'm not like giving enough like information. I don't have enough information on it, but it's literally like what they what they've sent me. Wait a minute. So this is graph gear. Nice. Okay. This one this one has a similar thing. I'll zoom in on it. Actually no. No it doesn't. Okay. No. Never mind. Oh, what's going on? Oh, this is a another eraser. Great. Seems to do the job. I've always seen these and admi admired these mechanical pencils. It's just that now that I feel the grip, it feels so weird. It's kind of like scraping your nails on a blackboard a little bit. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this, but damn, yeah, it has a grip. Let's do some sketching. Nice. This is a 0.51. This one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It just keeps coming, guys. Oh, this is cool. 0.7. It has 0.7. It has like a like a like a blue font. I, I like that. Okay, so the one before. Alright. So this is a Pentel brush sign pen. This is what they're specifically called. These are these are just the, the twist erase mechanical pencils i think they're specifically for like extra large refill of lead these ones that i showed before these are the mechanical drafting pencils these are the graph gear automatic drafting pencils i gotta say this is really overwhelming i wasn't expecting like this much coming out thank you so much pentel ah. i'm just gonna put them over there all right we still got heaps to go <gasps> oh this one's spilling out ah, no looks like we're just gonna shake it out Oh, these are the erasers. Okay, We've got Pray for Japan. Pray for Japan, everyone. Black erasers. We have a soft eraser. Uh, eraser dust will stick together. Nice. A couple of soft erasers. Different sizes as well. It's kind of cool. We got the high polymer eraser. It seems like just your general eraser. Another Pray for Japan. And these ones. Oh, these ones are cool. Sorry, I was interrupted before. But yeah, these are the retractable eraser uh, pens. I don't really use these personally because I use my needable eraser, but man, when I was a kid, these were like, saved my life because, yeah, again, I would run out of eraser um, in my mechanical pencil and um, I would just keep around one of these in my pocket. But yeah, a lot of erasers, Pentel. Thank you. Pray for Japan. Pray for me. <laughs> what am I going to do with all this? Okay, next one. Ooh, I'm excited for this because these are packaged. <gasps> these are it. Yeah, the 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 Orens. I think that that's what they call the Orens. Yeah, these um these are specifically designed for the lead not breaking. These are really really cool. It says on the back here. Uh, before writing, click once in advance or to advance the pipe with the lead. Adjust length of the lead to the same length as the pipe. See figure one. Advance too much may cause the lead to break during the writing. See figure two. Click once. If the pipe slide back completely, click only once to advance the, to to advance the following lead. When you have finished writing, please retract the pipe fully. So they have very clear instructions on how to do this. Come on, come on, turn the radio. Yeah, I don't know if this is like a new design or something, but the trailer is is awesome Please do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. All right. All right, so they got lead in there Okay, so so the lead as you see here the lead is like just out. Right, I'm gonna Okay, whoa, okay. All right, this is this is interesting. I'm just keep on Sketching and it's still the lead still just comes out. Oh, okay, so Look, if you can see, but 
the the metal shaft that holds the lead has gone in so it supports the lead more that's really cool I've never seen that before Wow damn all right so this will this will really help you no matter how hard you push down the lead would still stay in place this helps me a lot this is so cool this was gonna oh man damn wait, what, what sizes do they have okay so it's 0.5 this one's 0.7 nice oh great yeah it says on the side get these guys get these cuz everyone hates that situation where you just break the lead it's just so so shitty and so bad yeah exactly so that's the metal shaft yeah that's so cool oh that's amazing all right all right that's a cool little neat trick uh, I plan on using that a lot in the future all right now we have final I think it's our final one a bunch of leads <laughs> Not very interesting, but like, these are all the leads that fit together. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. Wait, is this, wait, is this just lead? Because I would love it if there were different colors. Wait, how do I, wait, how does this work? How do I open it? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. All right, so we just, yeah, twist it like that. So it was like that, so you had to like twist it like that. Okay. Now this is this is just normal lead. I've been recently using colored lead uh, for sketching. I don't know if they have them uh, amongst here, but yeah, these are these are all the leads that are gonna help me. What else? There's a little little card in here. Oh, they wrote me a handwritten note. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Thank you for being a Pentelian. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not gonna read you out the letter. Ah, oh, they're so nice and they're such. <laughs> they wrote it on really good paper as well. <laughs> I feel bad. Thank you so much I just want to show you which ones I specifically liked I specifically like these these gel pens because they're, they're for left-handers and also these 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 are amazing to have the the, the idea and tech technology for the lead to not break is like a godsend to us artists because we have that constant frustration when you're you're in the zone you're drawing in the zone this is a big deal for me but you're in the zone and suddenly the lead snaps and it's like the immersion of you drawing just snaps and it's just like like you're left there so it's like you're drawing and stuff and you you know you're peaceful and you know you're doing all this and then it's like and it's like what the hell what the hell lead what the hell it just sort of breaks your concentration and you're just like oh no it's just oh oh yeah i love this this is this is a really great idea I, it's, it's so simple these are the rest of the stuff using um uh most of these supplies not all of them because some of them are, are the same to each other like the uh, mechanical pencils and stuff but i'm gonna be i'm gonna draw something and um I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so I didn't really know what I was drawing at first. All I knew was that I wanted to draw something mechanical and perhaps maybe a little steampunky with all the features of a Pentel pen added into it. So being based around a pen, I wanted to make the figure rather tall. And then I got inspired by the droid from Rogue One, uh, K2SO. Just the general look of the droid was unique. How the body was like way out of proportion to the legs looked almost like he was wearing old man pants. So I started sketching out the general shape with the new orange mechanical pencils and they worked so great guys. I noticed the fact that I was clicking the pencil instinctively because I was so used to the lead running out so quickly but I didn't even need to. I, I realized the metal shaft when it retracts it also helps with the lead, just not just the lead breaking, but it makes the drawing time longer between clicking, so sketching went a lot faster and a lot smoother. Next I did was the line work. I started using the black Energel pen, but the pen kept on drying out, or the tip just wasn't cooperating with the paper, I don't know. The ink wasn't working, so I, I switched to the brush pen. I've used brush pens before, so this wasn't anything new to me, but it felt great using a small sized one. Um, I haven't used a small sized one in ages, so it felt nostalgic. So I wanted to give him a sort of wandering wizard look with the staff of lead and all, and I wanted to make it look like the lead was sort of constantly growing like a tree. So seeing as the robot has the components of a mechanical pencil, I would have him eat the lead from the staff to, to give him energy or 
fuel or something. And seeing as the lead regenerates like a plant, I, I made him have the lead growing out of his body. I wanted a combination of natural and unnatural components together, like a, a symbolism of nature taking over. For the feet, I made a pair of replaceable mechanical eraser shoes. So like if he was living in a world of art supplies, he can erase his steps so no one can follow him. And with the fingers, I wanted them to have like a grip of the lead in the mechanical pencil so that he's using the lead as fingers not his own body and under his arm under the elbow there's like a little compartment for the replaceable fingers if they snap so here i've used cobics to color him in i use cool gray cobics and now now i'm using the white gel pen for highlights so yeah that's basically all i've done here i hope you enjoyed this pentel robot character design And here you have it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this Pentel robot character design. I wish I had time to figure out his backstory. I, I think he's a former Pentel employee and um, he just stole the, the key to self-generating lead. I don't know. I particularly had fun with the feet, how they are uh, re replaceable um, erasers. But yeah, overall, I had a lot of fun drawing this robot, Pentel robot. I hope you had fun watching. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you Pentelians later. Bye-bye. Hey, 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 everyone. A big thank you to Pentel for sending me these beautiful things. It's so nice of them to do this when they didn't really have to. I appreciate it and I'll cherish these gifts like they were my own children. <laughs> I don't get a lot of opportunities like this, like ever. So this makes it all the more sweeter. Thanks again to people who are watching this far. It's quite astonishing that you actually made it this far, actually. <laughs> to find most of these products that I showed you here, they're at your local office works. Except the Graph Gear mechanical pencils, you can find those at www larrypost.com.au I'll leave a link in the description below and to find the orange unbreakable lead mechanical pencils I'll leave a link in the description below as well have a happy Easter everyone if you liked what you saw here please go subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when my videos come out next check out my other social medias as well uh, and if you're feeling generous please donate to my PayPal I would really appreciate it all links are in the description that's all for me for now and thanks again Pentel for doing this and thank you guys for watching bye bye